today we're gonna be diving into my sketchbook. To inspire and to limit myself today, I'm going to be choosing three random colors from my Ahu brush markers. And since I've had a ton of requests to mention the Ahu skin tone set, here it is. I'm mentioning it. There it is. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Here's some of the colors you get. Which I believe are also brush, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a brush. We're gonna pick one color from the skin tone set and two colors from the regular, I don't remember how many are in here, brush marker set. Oh, that's a Copic marker. There you are, prawn. Let's design a character. All right, first up, let's pick a marker from the skin tone set. Actually, let's do it upside down that way. I can't see. Oh, we got one. The first marker the universe has chosen for us is YR9, also known as Yellow Ochre. Swatch Rooney. There's our skin tone for today. Next up, we have to pick a color from this set. Hello. There you are. Let's hope for something that complements our yellow ochre very well. <laughs> I just realized I could have combated this mystery thing by using a mirror. <sighs> okay. Okay. The next marker is G5, also known as turquoise ink blue. Let's see what that looks like swatched. It's kind of like a turquoisey green. So I'm seeing some contrast between those colors, which is good. Now let's pick our last color. I'm hoping it's like a yellow or something really bright so that it doesn't, you know, blend in too much with the other colors we got. But if it's something that complements well, that's nice too, you know. Can't complain. Pink. That was like the most unenthusiastic response to this color, but it is RP1 or Vivid Reddish Purple. And when we swatch it, it looks like that. Okay. I'm actually kind of, whoa. I'm actually pretty happy with this color choice. I definitely think I'm gonna be able to work with this. All right, let me grab some fine liners, a pencil, and some erasers, and we're ready to start. So first off, I'm gonna be using a pencil. I'm just gonna try and sketch out what these colors make me think of. We've got this very saturated, vibrant pink, a muted turquoise, and then a very warm skin tone. So, but at the beginning, it's not too important. We're just warming up our wrist and I'm not too concerned. I've got lots of ideas if this is a female character. So I'm thinking I might flip flop that and just try and draw a dude. <laughs> Cause I can also see this. I wonder if I'm allowed to use black. I mean, I guess I make up the rules, don't I? <laughs> They definitely feel like very youthful colors. So I'm gonna keep the character on the younger side and I definitely wanna have some kind of sweatshirt. I don't know what it is about the colors, but like a sweatshirt, maybe layers, like a jacket over a sweatshirt situation. Like, like you've got the hood and the little laces coming out of there, but then you have a jacket underneath that. That's a bit baggier, maybe curly hair. I can't say there's a really rhyme or reason. <laughs> just kind of happening here. Add in a few tones here and there just to see how it'll look. Kind of want to draw really fun sneakers. <laughs> skinny jeans. Now if I'm going to do skinny jeans. I kind of want to add more contrast in here so we can make the hoodie sweatshirt thing even bigger. So like if I drew the character looking another direction, you'd see that a bit more. Like we have the hood the jacket kind of like coming around put his arms in his pockets hoodie coming around that way exaggerate the size of things so like that first sketch I was kind of just outlining some ideas and then this one I can exaggerate the shapes a little bit easier because I have a sp I have a plan so then we'd see the hoodie underneath there pants and then I really want to draw really fun sneakers I'll have to find a reference for those take that in for now I really do like the way the curly hair looks, so I might keep something like that. I like how he looks. He's got like a, a kind of a Peter Parker has trouble paying the rent kind of vibe. And I'm digging it. And looking at these colors, they don't look like super regal or like rich colors to me. I don't know what a rich color is. Maybe rich colors are just like black and white, minimalistic sort of vibe. Maybe gold, I don't know. <laughs> have to exaggerate shapes a little bit more but you see how like 
looser this is because like here I was very stiff didn't really know what I was doing then the next one I've got a template and I can exaggerate the shapes and be looser and freer with it because I know what it is I'm trying to make whereas with this one I was like much more timid you know let me try making um some small thumbnails to test out the colors I'm gonna start real small with it and if I like any of the colors then I'm gonna throw them on this sketch so we just draw real small get all the basic shapes down so we know where the colors will be in relation to each other maybe we should like fully embrace the Peter Parker and give him glasses <laughs> Erase the pencil underneath so they don't interact with our markers. Now this is where it's going to get tricky. The markers are all kind of similar in tone values. So this could be tricky or we might have to get out the rubbing alcohol and dilute some of these. <laughs> but we'll see. Let's start it off first just full force. We'll use our skin tone. Oh, there's not really much skin tone showing. We might have to change that. I forgot about that pleasant ohu aroma. <laughs> <laughs> it's slightly different than the Copic one, so it's like I'm noticing it. I've been using my Copic markers lately, so it's like a different smell, <laughs> and I got used to it. I kind of want to do purple sweatshirt. Let's try that. Ooh, it's like almost fluorescent compared to these other colors. Maybe pink shoes. Then we use green, I guess. That's what's left for the jacket. This is where we've run out of colors, and we're going to have to start mixing them. I haven't... Let me go back over to this corner. Just create little color keys for us. There's R, P, and G5 mixed together. So this one ends up being really green and that one's more of a purple. So what do we want to do? I see that it's more of a pant color, but I kind of want to try it with this. I want to layer green first for the pants like that and then go over it with the yellow ochre. So it ends up being a little bit more brown. Okay. I could almost do that color for the hair as well. What did I do green first? Basically, the color you layer last usually ends up being a little bit more prominent. It's been my experience. So if we want it to be a more of a warmer color, we'll layer the ochre on last. Now I think I want to use this for shading because it is a subtler color. It is a bit of a yellow. So I'm just going to throw it in here and there. I am... Uh, pleasantly happy with this. We should try it in another variation as well because there might be one we like better and we can also experiment with the pose. I haven't really done anything interesting. <laughs> Let's go full Peter Parker. How's that? Throw in the outfit and can't forget those luscious curls. Okay, let me throw in some line art over that. <laughs> these legs and these foreshortening. Ugh! I got this. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, I like this. I think if I was going to do it again, I'd pull that knee out further so that more of his weight is centered on it. But I'm happy with it. It's not just standing there. <laughs> okay, let me try a different color scheme though. Maybe make the pink more prominent. I'm going to keep the skin tone the same because it came from the skin tone pack, you know? So I feel like I'm legally required. Just for this challenge, like obviously. <laughs> Let's try mixing the pink and the... Oh, we didn't ever pick pink with the yellow. I guess we'll put that up here. Pink, yellow. I'm gonna put yellow with pink. There's our color scheme. I'm gonna mix our purple with our yellow ochre. I think I'll go pink first. I like that color better. It's more of a red and less pink. I'm just gonna keep calling this pink. It looks pink to me. Oh, even with just pink hair, that looks kind of cool. But let's just keep it natural at the moment. And maybe they'll leave the sleeves white like it's a varsity jacket. Then we'll use the green for the sweatshirt. Ooh, then I'm liking this one too. Shoot! I think this is just a really good color scheme. I'm pretty happy. Or we could do white pants and green shoes. Oh, that's pink. <laughs> I guess they're pink shoes. Maybe we'll layer the pink and the green together. Okay, now let's add a little shading with the yellow color. But shoot, I like this one too. How do you make decisions? I think the only way to find a solution is to do another thumbnail here. So let me just stick one right here. Curly hair, body. Actually, let's make him slouch a bit more. Gives me slouch vibes. Something more like this. We could also change up the outfit, but I'm kind of in love with it, so I don't see that happening. Could also give him a little beanie that like flattens out the curly hair and then you just see the curls underneath. Okay, let's throw some color on this one. Let's try the beanie idea. I'll remove the sketch. <laughs> I don't know. I like both of those so much. 
Let me try something more similar to this, but without all the white. So pink jacket, but fill the whole thing in pink. Then the green sweatshirt. Basically the same thing, but we're gonna cut out all the white. <laughs> or at least most of it, probably all of it. Now for the pants, let's try mixing. We could do the same as the hair color maybe. Let's try that. But I'm gonna do the yellow first and then put the pink on top. All right, I think this is the weakest of all the color schemes. So that's actually a decision I'm willing to make. So X on that one. <laughs> no, I still really like this first one. I'm gonna also like the second one. Don't feel any closer to figuring that out. White gel pen might be in order. We could probably add like a patch. For when we draw things bigger, we're gonna need more details to like fill the space. I don't want it to be too plain. So let me go ahead and add line art to this sketch. And we can put my favorite color scheme on that. And also we'll try a little harder on these shoes. A little nosy and a mouth. There we go, got some pants. Not sure on those pants, but we'll keep. I'll make a note about those. Perfect. <laughs> Just put in some shoes here for now. There you go. It's at least enough to remember to work on those. <laughs> oh, wait, we forgot a whole arm. Come here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we gotta make that color scheme. All right, I think green was the jacket. Straight up. Oh, I forgot I wanted to put a patch on the arm. I really like this as a jacket color. It translates very well. All right, pink for the sweatshirt. I, this color layers and goes down so well. Like, do you see any streaks in there? Cause I don't. Okay, and then for shading the pink, I believe I used yellow ochre, I guess. <laughs> Very nice. When that dries, we'll be able to layer it over and give a little bit of blush just using this same color. Great beauty of the markers is the way you can mix and blend them and create these cohesive color schemes with only three colors, which is why I love doing three marker challenges of any kind, especially when it comes to character design. Personal faves. <laughs> See, so now I take this again, I can layer over the nose, and get a little <gasps> blushies on the cheeks. That'll fade in a little as it dries. So it won't be quite that jarring. And I think for the hair, I put the green down first and then layered over with the yellow ochre. Okay, I forgot how much I liked Ohu markers. I just keep them in a separate place than my Copic markers, so I haven't been using them at the same time, but shh, forgot. I like these. <laughs> and none of them are dried out like my Copic markers. I need to order refills and I've just been stalling because they're, they're not cheap. I'm happy with this. Boop, 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 boop colored in a little bit of the eyes, so I'm gonna use the white gel pen to bring out the whites. <laughs> Looks like Pansy did the same thing as the hair. Actually, you could probably just leave it this color, except that's the skin tone, so that might look a little weird. Yeah, it's too close to his feet. <laughs> I do think I like that better than that, but let me layer it one more time with this. See if we can pull it away from the jacket color just a smidge. There we go, it's like a very dark, it's almost black. It looks black um, in comparison to the other colors in the picture. So it works pretty well. Now for the sneakers, let's go pink. I guess everywhere. <laughs> I was gonna do something more interesting, but that looks fine. Maybe layer some green where I want it to be darker. Get able to use all the colors down there. Wow, honestly, I would say I'm done. <laughs> I'm really happy with this, but I think we could add just a more pizzazz to the character like it's very simple the jacket's got barely any seams to it we could add pockets to the sweatshirt we could i think we could go a long way and obviously i can find some more references for shoes and do those better so let's move on There's little mikey here <laughs> that's not his name how do i get marker on my nails anyway let me find a name male name let's see what we get Gaston. <laughs> Harrison, that works. We'll take it. Keep the change. Boom, boom, ba-doom. 
Okay, that way I can give him talk about him when I'm drawing him. I can explore his story a little bit more maybe now that I know his name. Um, but basically I'm just gonna keep drawing him over and over again and see what happens to his design, what I change up, what stays the same, what are the elements that I keep gravitating towards, and which are the ones that don't quite suit him as much. It gives me a Peter Parker kind of cool kid vibe. Peter Parker, I guess, isn't technically a cool kid, but like he looks cool on TV. He's just not cool in his universe. <laughs> but yeah, similar vibe I'm kind of going for. Should probably figure out the jacket situation. Okay, nothing really changed. Basically, I need to put a little bit more personality into Harrison. <laughs> we need to give him a vibe, something that matters a lot to him. Maybe like a hobby, an interest, an individual. Hmm. <laughs> or maybe an object that he carries around everywhere with him, like a backpack or a gift from someone. I'm rattling off things, but nothing's really <laughs> vibing. Um, I do like the idea of there being like some kind of patch on his jacket because it's this green color and it gives me kind of like a military vibe to the style. So if we want to like, hmm, we could play that up. Maybe he has a loved one in the military, like a parent or sibling. For some reason he gives me Canadian vibes. So <laughs> maybe he's a Canadian. I'm just rattling off things at this point. <laughs> Let's add another patch. <laughs> this one says cool beans. And this one says sure with like a dot dot dot. <laughs> Let me search more like military style jackets. They have lots of pockets on them. Maybe the jacket was something that belonged to his sibling before they were deployed or something. Or maybe he's got some other vibe going on. <laughs> lots of like stitching on the seams seems in order. Maybe it's got those like drawstrings. On the bottom. Is that something on menswear? I don't know. <laughs> I don't shop in the men's department very often. <laughs> Maybe it's got those like, what are these called? Apple, 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 but who are these called? I don't know, but it looks good on him. Just putting a little extra detail into the jacket. It's not really adding to his personality so much. Maybe the patches do a little bit, but it definitely just kind of fleshes out the character a little bit more and it's less plain Jane, you know? We could even put a pocket, like a zipper pocket to the left of the patches. Okay, we still haven't really learned much about Harrison. What makes him special? Sometimes just making a character slouch can really say a lot. Maybe his hair is what matters to him. No, it doesn't really give me a vibe like he puts too much time into the hair. I was gonna say, then I could probably draw him bald once. Really sad because <laughs> he feels like he lost his identity because something, some outward source required that he lost his hair. Hmm. Just thinking out loud here. Maybe he plays some kind of instrument. And if we're gonna follow like the Peter Parker vibe of like, he looks cool on paper, but no one notices that he's cool in his universe. Let's pick maybe a band instrument. <laughs> no offense, I was in band. <laughs> and looking at the colors we have available, I think I could probably pull off a clarinet. So clarinet or an oboe, you know? So let's go ahead and try and draw him doing that, interacting with that sort of object. Um, hmm. Can't say I draw this very often. <laughs> um, it has to have some kind of motion to it because he's playing music. Music isn't stagnant. One hand will be here, one hand here. Shh. Keeps his hands out of his pockets, you know? <laughs> That's what his mom says about it. It's a little long. We'll work on it. It's got a little bit of like a swoop to it, no? So like the music. Woo, oh, so much music. Now make sure he's wearing his clothes. <laughs> you know, we don't want no nakeds here. Put the patches. Actually, I think I want to pull this leg further back so it can support him a little better. Maybe he writes music. He could play almost any instrument, or at least he will. <laughs> at least that's his plan. He does give me a band kit vibe. Cool band kit. Kind of ran out of room. No! I won't get to draw this sneaker. <sighs> Biggest life regret right there. <laughs> Clarinet's really flewed out at the end like that. Why do I feel like I didn't know that? And I'm pretty sure I can get away with just coloring the clarinet with just all three colors and we'll get 
basically this color and we can keep layering it if we need it to be darker but i think that will be just fine what might also be fun is if we pull the jacket down just a little bit longer oh but now there's kind of a tangent with the clarinet we could shorten the clarinet maybe no i think the clarinet's actually about that length i don't know we'll just have to pretend we draw that foot <laughs> Do you want to work on the face a little? It doesn't quite capture him, I don't think. I also can bring it down a little because his neck's long. Is that better? Worse? Similar? Maybe if I add those thick eyebrows in. That'll pull him out of this. Just separate the hair into more chunks. And I think that might also, like almost like they're separate ringlets. I think that'll make a change for the better. And make it look more like him that I've drawn in the other versions. It's a little mushy right here. I actually think I need to pull this arm back a little. Whoops, undo, undo. All right, I think we got something going on here. So let me just go ahead and lightly erase first. And when we get to this like mushy area, I'll probably end up sketching again, but where I'm pretty confident I can go ahead and use fine liner to add line art. Ooh, I think I drew the head too small. Something about the chin area. I'm gonna make him look down at the instrument. <laughs> I also think I drew the nose lower. Is that what's going on? I don't know. It doesn't quite look like him to me, but we'll keep going. I'm missing something. This one also is a lot round, more rounded with the curls. And then this one has, seems more unruly to me. Shoot, now I'm gonna draw it again. Oh, well, let me, I can, well, let's, let's try and finish this though. We might learn other things that we need to fix for the next drawing. So I won't give up just yet. Who knows, might really end up liking it. Pinky out. <laughs> now this hand, it's like mostly behind the clarinet which somehow makes it m more difficult to draw. Something like that. I'd say I've never drawn a clarinet before, but I'm pretty sure I did back when I was in bands. <laughs> it just did not turn out that well. There we go. Oh, wait, shoes. <laughs> Something like this. Oh wait, that doesn't. Um, that's a really big foot. <laughs> and then the one that goes off the edge. Don't have much leeway with that one. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Erase, 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 erase. Let's see what we're working with. I think the only thing I don't like about it really is the face. I don't think it quite captures him. So what I can do is just go ahead, color it all in, and then maybe put a sticky note over his face and try again. Because <laughs> otherwise it'll be harder to color match. So let's stick with this color scheme. Something about this pink color just does not seem to allow for streaks and I'm living for it. <laughs> then this is all pink with then layers of other colors on top. So I can just fill this in. Up green for the jacket. I might color the patches other colors. I don't know, we haven't really played around with that yet. I believe with the pants, we just layered all the colors. <laughs> and I think I started with this one. And pink on that one. Wait, did I never put pink on this? That looks different. Like really different. Like significantly different. Maybe when I put the yellow back on top, it toned this down. <gasps> I don't know. I must not have actually layered all three colors. Well, shoot. Yeah, no, it's looking pretty black. Well, that was an accident. <laughs> it must just be green and brown over and over and over again. My bad. I'm so glad Ohu came out with brush markers. And they're just the kind of consistency that I like. Not too stiff, not too soft. Obviously they're not the highest quality nibs, so they'll get softer over time. But right out of the package, they're exactly what I like. Hopefully the nib will last until they run out of ink for the most part. Use this for a little bit of shading. Now I've layered all three colors. I've got a clarinet looking thing. <laughs> Once you have a brush nib on a marker, you hardly ever use the other end. When you have a, a bullet nib and a chisel, you have to flip between them a lot. Once you have a brush, it like does everything for you. 
can add some of these bits to the shoes. There we go. A little bummed that I colored the pants in wrong because I like it with the greener tone more than the pink because it kind of changes the color scheme. Now the color scheme seems more red, whereas this one it felt more green and brown, like earthy with pops of pink, whereas this one feels like a more reddish color scheme with brown and green earthy accents. At least that's how I view it. <laughs> is there anything I can do to like make it look more like this kid? Harrison's looking a little off. Now that I've added the colors, it definitely looks more like him. But let me just try and draw the face again and see if it looks good. I think the nose was supposed to be higher. Eyebrows are a little bit more further apart. Whereas these, they're like very close together. I'm just trying to like make note of what's different. And then this had much rounder hair, which I like. Just use rounded shapes. This might be a, not a selling point for some, but it's kind of like a Michael Landon Little House on the Prairie hairdo. <laughs> Sideburns. There, this has much more, he has a rounder face. That's what it was missing. This is more like a skinnier, taller face. And then this is much more rounded, which I think suits him a bit better. Gives him a more youthful appearance. Just throw a body in there. Maybe a clarinet. We got a little Harrison with his Claro knit. Just want to tone down that pink color. It just makes it more black, so none. I prefer that anyway. But look how cohesive the colors look together. So nice. That is what I like to see. I'm so happy with this color scheme. I want to draw them again. <laughs> Try one thing here. <laughs> Stick that right there and see if I can do what I learned from there and apply it. So the rounded hair and then the further apart eyebrows too. And the rounded head. Oh, this is so much better. There's Harrison. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Go ahead and add color too. Like line art and all that jazz. <laughs> there we go. And he's looking downwards. Got more musical expression on his face. <laughs> If that's possible, Let's throw the colors on. They're gonna look slightly different because the sticky note is not the same color as the paper, but they should be similar enough to where it'll look semi seamless. I'm hoping. <laughs> we'll see if the sticky note can handle layering colors. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I think I've done this before. The memory ain't what it used to be. <laughs> It's holding up. It's holding up. Hey, that is an improvement. I like it way better. It's a little darker. Well, let me take a look at what was underneath. Make sure. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. It looks way more like our buddy Harrison. <laughs> Terrible music notes. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I wanna keep going, but I'm not sure what to do at this point. So I think we'll call it quits. I still think this just looks really pretty. This is just a really nice color scheme and I got really flippin' lucky, so very happy. I'm actually kind of amazed how quickly he came together. And the more and more I draw male characters, the better and better it seems to be getting. So that's really encouraging. <laughs> anyway, I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you struggle with color schemes, I definitely recommend trying out, pulling out just three random markers or three random colors of any of your favorite art supplies and just trying to work from there, create a character if that's what you like, or just draw a picture and limit yourself to those only three colors, layer them, see what other colors you can get when you mix them, blah blah See what you can do with just three colors. I'll see you guys all next week, and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!